Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today I'm going to show you seven different ways that you can buy stocks on Robinhood. And as you guys know, this channel just hit 5,000 subscribers. So I want to say thank you to all of you new dreamers. This is the channel where dreams come true. So welcome to the dream team. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back. Um, I have my Robinhood pull up. As you guys know, Robinhood was one of the first apps where they had commission free trading. So a lot of newcomers and a lot of newbies uh, that just started to invest it didn't really know anything about buying stocks. They would go on here and they would place orders and they'll buy a couple of shares here and there. But today I'm going to discuss seven different ways that can benefit you uh, to help you buy stocks on Robinhood. So if we take a look at my portfolio, I'm sitting at $17,982. On the day I'm up set 0.77%, I'm up $137.69. And in the aftermarket hours, I'm up $23.23. Before I show you guys the seven different ways to buy stocks on Robinhood, um, I actually have some free stocks to open. If you guys want to get some free stocks yourself, just click the link down in the description. If you sign up, you get a free stock and I get a free stock. So let's open up these free stocks right quick. Here's one right here. Let's uh, scratch the one on the right. And I got a Helix Energy, ticker symbol HLX. This one is worth $3.57. So thank you, new subscriber. All right, so there we go, a free share of HLX was added to my portfolio. So let's scroll down and take a look at the seven different ways I'm gonna explain what each one of them does in order to help you become a better trader. So let's go to my favorite stock in my portfolio, AMD. Right now I'm up 73% on AMD, $1,033.60. So I've been buying AMD for a while, so I've bought AMD uh, many different ways. I'm about to show you guys how. So what you want to do is hit the trade button at the bottom and then click buy. And this is going to take you to your typical market price buy. I'm going to explain exactly what that is in a second, but let's start from the top to bottom. So what you do to get to your different ways to buy stocks on Robinhood is click the shares button in the top right. And here is all seven different ways. We have buy in dollars, buy in shares, reincurring investment, limit order, trailing stop order, stop order and stop limit order so let's start at the top and work our way down and i'm going to explain which what each one of these mean so here we go in buy in dollars buy amd in dollars amount starting at one dollar so if i click on buying dollars i'm not buying a full share of amd i'm investing the dollar amount that i want so if i want to do, to just buy one dollar worth of amd that would give me a small percentage of a full share of their stock if I wanted to buy $20 worth of AMD, that'd give me a little bit larger, but not a full share of AMD. Right now, their price is around $51 per share. So I want to gain a full share. I might have a percentage of a stock. Let me show you an example what that would look like right quick. If we take a look at Amazon, um, I have 1.02 shares worth of Amazon. That means I put in a, a order before I could buy in dollars worth of Amazon and it gave me a percentage of that share. So let's go back to AMD right quick. So that is buy in dollars. So let's back out and go to buy in shares. This is the most typical one. It's gonna give you a market order price. What that means is the share of AMZ price right now is at $52 even. If I hit buy, it'll take me to the market price. This is buy in shares. That means if I want to buy one share, the market price is $52. But in order for this order to be fulfilled, the price could go up to $52.05. And then I, and I would make a placement to buy that share at market price, uh, no matter where it's at. So sometimes I, this order would get filled at $52.05, $52.10. Or sometimes I might get lucky and they get fulfilled at $51.95. So it's in a range of what I can buy AMD stock is. I know five, 10 cents don't mean a lot right here uh, to just buy one share, but there are a couple people buying 10,000 shares of AMD. 
and it adds up real quick because if the price is at $52, the moment that it goes to $52.10, now you're paying an extra $1,000 on your order just to buy 10,000 shares of AMD. So that's why you have to be, um, if you're buying a lot of small shares, it might not add up, but if you're doing a very large sum, it's, very, it's not smart to do a market order when you're putting when you're buying a large number of shares so if you click the uh question mark on the market price it'll show you some of the bids and the ask price of the market of what's going on right now so right now it's, it's looking like i could get amd for 51 dollars 98 so i could get it for a steal but sometimes if the market open above then we'll place that order to where I could possibly be purchasing a couple of shares at $52.20 or anything like that. So the market order is very random. So let's go ahead and check out the next way that you could buy on Robinhood. Okay, so the next one is uh, highly recommended. I highly recommend the reoccurring investment for new beginners, for anybody really. Uh, it invests in AMD on a recurring schedule. So if we click on recurring investment, you have the option to, um, buy amd every day buy amd every week buy it bi-weekly or buy it once a month so if we take a look if you invested ten dollars every single month this last option down here into the s p 500 since uh, may 1st 1995 just ten dollars a month for the, since 1995 if you did not invest it you would have three thousand and ten dollars in cash but if you did invest ten dollars a month since 1995 you have $6,014.56 in cash if you reinvested just $10 a month into the S&P 500. So that is the power of reincurring investment. It's highly recommended for um, advanced investors and newbie investors. This is just um, staying consistent is the best way to grow your account, especially if you're just starting off. Just stay consistent. So the next way is the limit order. Buy AMD at a maximum price or lower. So this is a much smarter way to invest than just doing a market order. So setting a limit price means that you're not willing to pay a dime more of what you're saying that you're gonna pay for. So if the market price is 52, and I wanna say, hey, I'm not gonna pay a dime more than $52, Robinhood would not put in a, a buy I would not buy any share over $52. It, it, won't, it will not be $52.01 at all. If I think it's overvalued and I say, hey, I'll buy a couple shares at $51.50. Um, AMD could go up to $53 tomorrow, $54 the next day. But as soon as it drops all the way down to $51.50, it's going to place my order and then I'm going to have those shares worth of AMD. So if we take a look at the diagram the stock price goes up it goes down it goes up and it goes down as soon as hit the price that you typed in that's when it's going to place that order for your limit buy and the next one is a little bit more advanced it's the trailing stop order if amd rises above its lowest price by a specific amount it triggers a market buy not a limit order but a market buy okay so let's take a look at the trailing stop if we look take a look you have a a trail percentage okay so if you say hey i want to trail it by three percent there it goes the initial stop price is 53 dollars and 49 cents so that means if we take a look at the diagram if the price goes down up down and up it has a trailing stop at three percent so when it goes down, it's gonna trail down, trail down, but when it comes up, it's not gonna move back up. It's only gonna trail down, and then once it breaks above that 3% stop, it's gonna place a market buy. And if you placed it on the way down, then you should get a pretty decent price on the market buy with a trailing stop. If the price of the um, stock goes up, as soon as you place the, uh, the trailing stop, then you're gonna be buying it at a more expensive um, price than you would have if you placed a limit order. So this is the trailing stop order. Um, the stop price follows or trails the lowest price of AMD by a track that you set. A market buy is triggered when AMD rises to the stop price or higher. So that is the um, trailing stop order. All right, so the next one is the stop order. If AMD rises to a fixed stop price, it triggers a market buy, a market buy. All right, so example of that is right here. You set a price above of where AMD is at right now. Once it hit that price range, then it'll set a market buy. 
So the stop order, it sets a stop price above the current price of AMD and market order buy is triggered when AMD rises to the stop price or higher. So we hit continue, um, AMD price is at $52. I say, hey, it's probably going to go down a little bit. It's probably going to trade sideways for a little bit. But once it break, breaks above $58, then I know AMD is going to stay continuing on the rise. And then it's going to place a market buy at $58 per share. So that is an example of a stock order on AMD. And the last way that you could buy stocks on Robinhood is the stop limit order okay so it's almost the same thing but so for now you get to set a limit and not a market order so if we take a look at the stop limit order it triggers a limit buy order if amd rises to let's say 58 dollars all right so let's take a look at the diagram right quick if amd shoots up to 58 dollars it's going to trigger our stop limit and let's say at the limit we don't want it to place a market order we place a limit order and say once it hit 58 dollars i think it might bounce back a little bit i'm not willing to pay uh above 55 dollars for amd so once it hit 58 dollars it's going to set that trigger and then as soon as it's able to buy amd at 55 dollars it's going to place that order let me show you guys how to do that right quick so the stop price is 58 dollars continue i'm not willing to pay a dime over 55 dollars you hit continue um you said it good to counsel for 90 days you hit continue how many shares do you want to buy five shares you'll hit review and then you'll swipe up to uh set that order so that is the last way that you could buy shares on Robinhood. If we take a look, the one that I mostly use by far is the limit order. Because uh, when I see a price at a certain point, that means I want that stock at that certain price. I'm not going to pay a dime over the price that I'm willing to pay for it. So the smartest one to use is limit order. I reinvest all of my money into Robinhood and then I also invest $200 every week. So the reoccurring investment, I pick which stocks I want to invest into that week. But if you guys are not sure, you find a great company that you trust in and invest into that company every single week, every single bi-weekly or every single month. So this is a couple of tips and tricks that you guys can use to buy shares on Robinhood. All right guys, so there were seven different ways that you could buy stocks on Robinhood. Hopefully a couple of those tips helped you out. Let me know which ones you did not know about in the comment section down below. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the dream team because I'm going to be doing a 5,000 um, subscriber giveaway very soon and you guys don't want to miss out. But other than that, the link to Robinhood will be down in the description. Remember, if you sign up, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.